Fest, a mountain bike festival. Niner Bikes also hold van demos across the country, allowing people to demo their bikes for free. The best way to find out if a bike fits you and if you like the way the bike rides and, and to, to really sort of ignite that passion that you have for the sport is to just get out on a bike. Niner Bikes sends out newsletters and uses social media to help spread the word. We put notices up on our Facebook page. We communicate to everyone that this is where the van's going to be. This is what's in the van. Come out and ride. Um, it, it gives everybody a chance to, to actually meet the Niner, the Niner staff. Niner Bikes also sponsors riders to compete in different events. DJ Birch and Donna Miller are two sponsored riders. Birch, for example, completed the Tour Divide last year on a single-speed, full-rigid Niner mountain bike. This race course follows the Continental Divide, starting in Canada and ending at the Mexican border. Along with the colorful riders, fans of Niner Bikes also appreciate the quality that is evident in each bike. I think riders that ride a lot can look at our bikes and see the engineering and the little attention to detail that we put into the bikes and how much time we spend, you know, sweating over small little things that most people would sweat. Even former President George Bush is a fan. The two have gone riding together. The popularity of Niner Bikes goes beyond the U.S. International magazines have also featured the Torrance Company giving rave reviews. And as for selling bikes, Niner sells to distributors who then sell to local bike shops. Historically, we've been a frame and accessories company, so now we're moving into being a, uh, a complete bike company. This strategy fits their target demographic as Niner Bikes is a high-end product and buyers already know what they want from the dealer and want to be able to customize it. Everything that comes in goes straight out the door, especially carbon product-wise. Not every store will carry all the products that Niner Bikes produces. The territory manager will go in, into each shop and see who's going to be a better fit see what the, comm you know, the commitment level is, see if there's going to be a uh, store champion. Of course, what good is a great bike if you don't have a place to ride it? We'll show you after this break how Niner Bikes supports the community through mountain biking. What you doing, Dad? My favorite thing. Really, Dad? What are you doing? Paying bills. Every month a stack of them come just as regular as the rain. What's this one? That's a special one, son. I pay it first. How come? It's money for my retirement account. I put some money aside each month just like I was paying a bill. Wouldn't you rather buy something? I don't want to work forever and I don't want you to have to support me in my old age. In a way, I'm buying peace of mind. I'm on the installment plan. You can't text and pay attention to the world around you. And you definitely can't text and drive. Every year, deaths due to distracted and negligent driving are increasing. In fact, while drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving fatalities have skyrocketed. Find out more at negligentdriving.com. Niner Bikes is heavily invested in supporting trails in the South Bay and nationwide. If you don't have trails to ride, one, we can't do the sport that we love to do. And then also it affects the, our customers that want to ride our bikes. And we also feel that, you know, people should have the freedom to be able to go out and explore nature and not be restricted. Niner Bikes donates to advocacy groups that help maintain trails for riders. We heavily support an advocacy group called IMBA, which is an international mountain biking association. So uh, all of our charity work and donations have gone to that one single organization. In 2011, Niner created a special bike for IMBA, which was raffled off and raised about $24,000. In 2009, the company lost almost a million dollars in losses, but we still managed to give uh, a little over $10,000 to IMBA, which um, I think most companies would have immediately crossed that off their list of things to do. Ultimately, Niner Bikes' success can be attributed to a variety of things. Part of it's just luck, good timing. We had good timing in that the 29er movement uh, really started taking off. And certainly the people. Niner Bikes is a small but growing company and their passionate and dedicated team are what helped them stand out from their competitors. I think we have a great, great team of people and I think that makes all the difference. Thank you for joining me today as we explored how Niner Bikes is making its mark in the cycling industry. I'm Renee Ng and thank you so much for watching Common Sense where we offer a rare behind the scenes look at local Torrance businesses and exploit secrets to their success.
If you know of another local business you would like to see featured on our show, please send an email to commonsense at torrentsca.gov. We look forward to seeing you next time.